Let's tackle a problem involving the ideal transformer. Uh, there are a couple of things that we'll want to keep in mind. First, uh, first of all, we have our model of the ideal transformer. Um, the N1, N2 is the turns ratio. And we're going to use the dot convention, uh, similar to mutual inductances. Uh, it's a little bit different, and um, I'll, uh, I'll explain as I go um, what I've found to be the easiest way to keep this stuff in mind. Essentially what we're going to do though is these problems are going to be typically very simple um, as far as the transformer is concerned because what we're going to do is use reflection to simplify the circuit. Essentially we can remove the uh, an ideal transformer from the circuit altogether. So we're going to define n as n2 over n1 and that will be the turn ratio and then to use reflection if the dots are uh, both at the top or I guess both at the bottom um, then you can use these two equations right here to relate currents and voltages so any node voltage or voltage across a, a component um, would obey this rule and this is left to right as well and uh, I uh, the same way and the impedances this equation will work for um, uh, an ideal transformer regardless of the dot configuration if the dots are opposite each other then you'll put a negative sign in front of both of those answers it's uh, it's really that simple. So let's um, let's tackle this problem. I chose it because it has uh, both kinds of configurations, and it's got a a couple of uh, I guess you could call them tricky parts to it, but they're really not that tricky once we get into them. Okay, so the first thing that we'll do is we'll take uh, this transformer here. I'll put a little blue circle around it so we know what we're working with. And we'll um, figure out all the calculations that we need for this particular one. So for this N blue, N, the turn ratio, is going to be equal N2 over N1. That's one half. Okay? And these are opposing, so we'll use the negative. So V1 equals minus V2 over N and I1 equals minus N times I2. Um, <clears throat> and then for the other one, give this a red circle I guess, we're going to look at the turn ratio as N1 to N2. So that's going to be 2. So N would equal 2 here. And um, because they're um, because of the dot configuration we get equations that look like this. And um, the, the question is asking for us to find the voltage across this resistor. So what seems easiest to me would be to use reflection and reflect all of these components over to this mesh and then reflect all of these components into that same mesh as well. Okay, so the next thing that I'll do is I'll draw the circuit. Our new circuit will look something like this. That's our first component on the left and we'll just remove the ideal transformer altogether.
Okay, and I can remove this ideal transformer altogether. And just for simplicity, I'm going to draw this like this. If that's at all confusing, convince yourself that uh, if we just took this node and this node and connected them, took these three and connected them, uh, and this, these two and connected them, that it would look like this. Okay, and now we need to fill in the, the uh, values. Well, these two values aren't changing because we're not using reflection here. Okay, so this is just minus j6, and this is 6 uh, ohms, ohms, we're still looking for v naught. And uh, we'll start over here on the left. So we want to trans. We want to know. We have the voltage on the left, and we want to know what would the voltage on the right be. So we use our equations here. We know this one, and we want to figure out the one on the right. So what we'll do is we'll take the. Uh, we'll multiply this side by negative n. Okay, so we get for uh, our v2 equals negative n and we'll just plug in numbers here actually negative n which is negative one half times 32 angle zero okay and that equals minus 16 angle zero so that tells us then that the polarity flips when we reflect this power over this power source. Okay, so that's going to be 16 angle zero. So I just, instead of putting the negative sign, I just flipped the battery. Okay, uh, the resistor, uh, I use my general equation here, which is that Z1 equals Z2 over n squared. And so I want to find z2 so it's going to be z1 n squared okay so z1 is 4 let me just explicitly say what we're doing here z for the re resistor is going to equal 4 times n squared times 1 half squared so that's 1 fourth times 4 this just equals 1 Okay, and then the capacitor equals minus J8 times one half squared, and that simply equals minus two minus J2. Okay, so this is one, and this is minus J2. And now we look at the last set of equations. So we have to use these equations right here for this one. I want to reflect this resistor up. And I know the if you kind of tilt your head to the left, you can imagine that this is um, Z1. And we want to find out what Z2 is. So again, it's going to be Z1 times n squared. So that's going to be ZR. equals z1, we'll just put in the number, 6 ohms times 2 squared. Okay, and that equals 24. So this is 24 ohms. And then the inductor is, uh, finally, if you just plug that in, you'll find that uh, the inductor is J12 times 2 squared, uh, so that's 48. Okay, and that's basically it. This is uh, now uh, solvable using any method that we've used before. If I want to find V naught, well, uh, I'll probably just find the current. I can do that really quickly. 
by taking uh, the voltage source and dividing it by the total impedance. Keeping in mind that the current, according to the battery, is traveling this way. So V naught is going to actually equal the negative of uh, the voltage that we calculate across the resistor. So uh, let's calculate that really quickly. So we have 16 angle 0. Uh, we, we're looking for I. Okay, it equals the voltage divided by the impedance. And if you add those impedances up, you should come up with uh, 31 plus J38. Okay, and when you uh, divide that out, you will get a number like this. Two oh six minus. 0 0.252 uh, J and that's the current. Uh, now we want to figure out what the voltage is uh, across the resistor so we're going to take the negative because remember we're not following the sign convention with V naught here. So V naught equals the negative of uh, 0 0.206 minus J 0 0.252 times 6. And let me just, uh, I'm just doing it on my calculator really quickly to verify that this is right. indeed it is. Uh, what you'll come up with, and if you didn't put the negative sign you won't get it right, what you should get is that V naught equals minus one, oops sorry, uh, yes I'm sorry, minus 1.95 no, 1.95 angle 129.26 Okay, and that's how you solve uh, those kinds of problems.